very good day this is professor kv hirebadiar so i'm here to teach you the concept of application of ict in teaching learning process dear students icts are making a dynamic changes in the society they are influencing very aspect of human life and even application of ict tools in teaching learning process has changed the total what do you call that scenario of teaching learning process so teaching learning process is not now limited within the boundaries of a classrooms and the icts are making major differences in the teaching approaches and ways the students are learning so this article discusses about what i am actually bringing to your kind consideration this day is the very best meaning and even the definition of ict so we have components of ict even ict is in the education social is for benefits of the ict in education especially and even benefits of ict in teaching learning process as well as the main thrust of this uh, application of ict is uh, which are the tools are helpful in the classroom transactions so try to understand uh, when uh, we have to start the concept of the ict let me just think about the introduction of the ict dear students the present era especially is the age of information communication technology so due to the advent of ict and it life has become easier during the last few decades there has been very tremendous growth in the use of ict especially in the field especially all fields such as industries business societies lives of people and even specially specially education some of the educational institutions all over the world are specially integrating ict with the teaching learning process in order to provide knowledge and skills to the learners to meet the challenges of educational environment of course we can say that the, it is the only through education and even the integration of ict in education that one can teach students to participants in the growth especially process in this era of rapid change in watson's 2001 description what actually he says that ict have revolutionized the way especially people work today and even are now transforming education systems as a result it especially the schools train children in yesterday's skill and even technologies and they may not be effective and fit in tomorrow's world this is actually the sufficient reason for ict to win global recognition and even the attention of specially uh the kofi annan statement actually he is the former united nations secretary general specially points out in order of attain the goals of universal primary education by the year 2005 we must ensure that the information and even the communicational technologies unlock the door of education systems so this uh, indicates that this the growth demand and even important especially place that icts could receive education since icts provide a greater opportunities for both the teachers as well as the students to adjust learning and even teaching to individual needs so it is necessary to integrate that ict application in the school education but introduction and even the integration of ict is especially at the different level and even various types of education in a developing countries like india is a most challenging undertaking try to understand the the, the especially the what do you call that uh, uh, country like uh, developing country like india it's a very most challenging undertaking because failure to meet the challenges and we can understand that it would be mean further widening of the knowledge gap of deepening of existing economic and even social inequalities among the developed and developing countries when we have to think about the meaning and the definition of ict ict means the information communication technology it has three part of information communication and even technology so information is the summarization of a data whereas the technically the data are raw facts and even figures that are processed into information so the communication is a process which uh, uh, you are calling as a uh, uh, what do you call that? this uh, disseminate information and even uh, knowledge and the technology is the mode of or media through which information can be 
disseminated. So ICT is the technology required for information processing and even spreading. <coughs> ICTs are technology, especially ICTs are the technologies such as radio and even the very newer digital technologies like computers, satellites, mobile phones, even as the internet. Because dear students already know that for the especially <coughs> COVID-19, almost all online classes were uh, going on and uh, still it ha it has been going on and the especially the thing is uh, whenever the time permits us to go under the sector of online classes we undergo for the best utilization of computers as well as smartphones especially through internet so ITCs are specially ICT special ICTs are specially electronic collection editing storage distribution as well as the presentation of the information so ICT is the main in which the people interact with their what do you call that them colleagues around the world so I exchange their ideas information messages and even coordinate each other through variety of technological means so now the question is components of ICT. So ICT uh, include communication devices and applications like computer, hardware, networks, software, mobile technology, satellite communications, video conferencing, and you are calling as a very Wi-Fi zone and pen drives, internet and uh, W sites, web two and social even media, etc. Because already we know that just uh, all, almost all we have some uh, uh, very um, familiar accounts in uh, social medias like. Facebook, Instagrams, Twitters, and nowadays everything, wherever, just wherever you go, just you, uh, you will get that WhatsApp. It's one of the social medias, but we don't know actually what extent do we use WhatsApp. Uh, for example, when we use WhatsApp uh, for our best, I don't know whether uh, uh, are we using for the, um, what do you call that, um, betterment of this society, but we don't know. Actually. But however, that when the terms come up, just I say that. So the satellite communication, especially the age of the satellite communication, uh, dawned in the year of 1962 with the launching of uh, early bird, the first communication satellite, the two big international satellite systems. Uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, I don't know. Actually, maybe uh, yes, 1962 ex exactly. And this began operating in 1965 and even 1971. So India launched a satellite for uh, communication called INSAT, already you know that. And for the educational purpose, the same thing was used, another name for EduSat and was launched in the year of 2004. INSAT 4CR, uh, just a minute, just a minute, it is, uh, yes, INSAT 4C, yes, which was uh, lost and uh, destroyed. So now the question is, uh, it's about of the video conferencing. It's a two way to communication, especially for the system. It is also called as a teleconferencing and it is used to, to especially use of the television, video and even sound technologies as well as the computers to enable the people in a different locations to see how ah, just hear and talk with each one another. Definitely I will give an example, best example for nowadays just we are using some, this is a uh, the way that teleconferencing maybe in the name of a zoom app and sometimes just google meet so the people meeting in separate conferences rooms are both in with especially in the televisions so now actually it's called ww we are calling as a ww dot world wide web the world wide web known as the triple um, w that's called uh, w Q or uh, what do you call that W3 or simply the web is one of the very several internet uh, resources developed to help publish organize and even provide access to information on the internet so the web was first developed by um, just a minute uh, developed by yes Tim Berners Lee first that is in 1989 so while working at uh, CER and especially European particle physics especially in the laboratory just a minute Switzerland so nowadays we we, we are very very uh, dependent on the world wide web now the question is what are the um, what do you call that um, blog and even wikis we know that so blogs and wikis are the fundamentally web 2.0 and even their global 
um, proliferation has uh, enormous implication for libraries and also in teaching learning process blogs may indeed be in just even a greater milestone in the history of publishing uh, than web pages so they enable uh, the rapid uh, um, what do you call that um, production and even consumption of the web based publications so blog are html for uh, the masses and a uh, blog is also known as the web log or a personal log and uh, this is a web based publication consisting of primary of um, what do you call that periodically articles so wiki is an online uh, collaborative writing tool especially a wiki is a collaborative web space where anyone can add content or anyone can edit content so that has um, already been published sometime and the wikis are designed to help a group collaborate and share and even build online content and are the especially useful for learners who are separated by time and even place wikis are the best to present an approach to the group writing and even editing that is the more efficient than the forwarding email attachments with its tracked changes and especially at this method that support uh, only one editor at a time and can create issues with the students having multiple or conflicting versions of the same document now the types of wikis wikis are uh, available through a wide variety of service and open uh, sources of software tools and even uh, uh, generally fall into free category just a minute yes free wiki services and uh, um, free based wiki services and self hosted wikis try to understand the first one is called free wiki services and second one is called fee based wikis then you have to pay for that and self hosted wikis that is supposed to be uh, what do you call that maintained or uh, um, you are uh, maintaining the same thing uh, and this uh, free wiki services are uh, available at no cost uh, um, through wiki provider such as uh, google uh, docs for documents that is uh, you are calling like just a minute uh, http slash or had and just a doc dot uh, google dot com so now the question is uh, i just already say that the social media is there and you yeah, already know that social media is in the sense just already you come across it now in the earlier minute just i explained to you about uh, social media and the role of ict special in education the information technology can provide a very medium for teaching and learning and uh, contribute the flexibility to course provision so the valid uses of the information communication technologies are uh, the very distance learning via electronic networks open learning uh, through students control learning uh, pathways and even the process of changing teaching and even learning styles by using a narrow range of information technology based on facilities so the presently i say there are four areas education namely is called as a teaching learning curriculum and as well as educational program try to understand i shall be once again try on teaching first one is teaching second one is learning and the third one is curriculum and the fourth one is called educational program ict has been added essentially especially in the 21st century as the uh, fifth uh, <coughs> potent area of education according to the a revised draft of national policy information communication technology in the special school education that is prepared by the department of school education literacy that is called mhrd in the year of 2011 now it has actually almost all policies have been changed but as per the information icts are all devices tools content even resources forums and even services digital and even those that can be converted into delivered converted into or delivered through digital forms which can be uh would you go deployed and realizing the goals in teaching learning and even enhancing the access uh, uh, to reach the resources so ict make education system more productive interesting give more powerful instruction and even also able to extend the educational opportunities to masses and even creating information rich learning environment so itc just special so ict has made the classroom transaction especially more interesting and it has extended the teaching learning process beyond the boundaries of a classroom students are now able to 
use the laptops computers and even wireless networks anywhere in the campus the computer allows high speed information exchanges to occur and even with the individuals within the uh, institutions as well as around the world because ICT brings the outside world into the classroom teaching learning process that makes the things more uh, realistic and even the helps the learner to understand the abstract through very clearly. So in my next period, dear students, once again, I shall be there for you uh, for the next session of ICT class. Have a nice time. Thank you very much. This is Professor K. Vihir. Take care of yourself.